plan is we're gonna cut this off to where we can get it, it to fit over these instead of having this exact. No way! It works! All right, everyone, this is Young Guns Garage. We're working on a bunch of projects, big one here. Barbie car, you can see a bit of foreshadowing. We kind of already cut it up, but we're taking this Power Wheels cart and turning it into a go-kart. And this is the team to do it. So deconstruction of the Barbie car begins. Turn it into a go-kart, we'll build our own frame, motor, everything. Um, first pull everything apart. So we got two new motors here, which we can use for the barber car, and another one which we can use for another project, potentially a drift trike, right Evan? Yep. So this one runs, this one doesn't run. We just tried pouring some gas down there and it got it started, so we think maybe the carb is just gummed up from it sitting around. So Evan's taking off the carb right now. We'll clean that out and see if we can get this motor running properly. So we've got most of the parts for the Barbie car here. Got a sprocket, got some bearings, and a rear axle. And what else do we get? Oh yeah, some sweet wheels. So these wheels will actually look perfect with the chassis and everything. So we're gonna go with sort of like a mid-engine mount. Evan's starting to cut all the stuff for the frame now. So I'm just gonna build a rough frame angle and then we're gonna do something to mount this motor on there. Um, and then afterwards we'll worry about mounting the body on top of everything. So we got a rough layout for the Barbie car. We started with getting the frame built. We made it longer than we need to so that we can cut it down to size when we work on the front wheels and we get our lengthing or length to where we want it. Um, and then the motor is gonna sit underneath this seat here. We stripped it down, stripped off the gas tank, stripped off everything so that we can now work on building a motor mount for this. And that'll sit right in there. And then we got the shaft here for the drive. It's gonna come right to the sprocket right there. So next thing we gotta do is work on mounting for the motor and then how the body is gonna sit on the frame. Down and down. Down. Hold it. Lower. 
A little bit closer to the well. That's perfect, just like that. So got this whole motor mount stuff welded up and the motor mounted on the cart. Now it's time to get this chain cut to size, get that hooked up to the axle so we actually have a driving wheelbarrow pretty much. And time to get started on the front steering. It's also time to start mounting the body on the cart now that we've got the motor mounted. So Evan is taking off some of these little nubs that stick out and we're trying to figure out what's the best way to mount it how we're gonna get this thing to fit on the frame nicely. We're also gonna be, because we did cut it in half, we cut it in half so that we could lengthen it, and then we're gonna be joining it together in the middle somehow with, I don't know what yet, metal or fiberglass or something. Probably fiberglass. Probably fiberglass? Cool. So we got a seat, finally, and we're gonna work on mounting the seat and the body onto the car itself. But first, we're actually gonna cut a lot of this plastic out of there because we don't need it. And we're gonna build a seat mount for it and work on getting that body mounted onto the new frame. seat mounted so we know kind of like our seating position which gives us an idea of how long we can make this thing so now it's time to start working on the front wheels and the steering get all those mounted up So in order to be able to turn the front of the go-kart basically, we made this, these pieces that will kind of like act as the swivel essentially for the front wheels. So this piece here can mount onto the frame itself or a piece that we put across. Um, and then that's able to turn. Um, we'll weld on a tab here that will come out for our steering. Um, so that will allow us to do our steering angle. So yeah, this is basically how we're gonna turn our front wheels. Back on. But I don't think we'll have enough space, so right here. Look at how close I was to 45 degrees.
Okay, so we built a front cross member to get these front wheels um, held together in the same width as the rear wheels. Um, and then what we did was we cut these pieces so that this frame can basically come in, give us some space. Actually, sorry, that's gonna go like that. So this frame can come in, give the, the wheels some space to be able to turn. Obviously, these are gonna be a little bit farther forward. Um, but yeah, that's gonna be the front of it. What we're gonna do, we're gonna take everything off and put it flat on the table over there so we can weld it up and everything's gonna be flat and we don't have to worry about all these different angles being out of level. So, disassembly time. Okay, check this thing out. We got a complete frame. We're no longer a wheelbarrow, right? No more wheelbarrow. We got this. Now let's chuck the motor on, chuck the body on, see what it looks like. I think, I think we're kind of done for today. So we're gonna have to come back and do most of it, but we'll try and get a little bit more done before we go home. Let me see. Dude, what a day. Well, it's the most complete that it's ever been. Um, we're making some solid progress. Got the frame pretty much tacked together. This is kind of how the body's gonna look. Um, yeah. It's now a limo and it's now looking like a real go-kart. So we still gotta basically finish welding up the front, um, work on the steering, get all that sorted. But this is what it's gonna look like essentially. Not yet, but kinda. This was what my vision was. 